Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis down here, <coughs> excuse me, in the lower left-hand corner of your screen if you're watching on Periscope and Twitter or on Google Plus and on YouTube on the big screen for this morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know the current conditions out there, we're showing temperature of 36 degrees right now with mostly clear skies. Forecast for today located here and forecast for tonight low temperatures and sky conditions located down here in the lower bar at the bottom of your screen. Also available again on all those social media networks if you'd like to pick up the forecast throughout the rest of the day and of course at wreg.com slash weather for more information. The clouds from yesterday pretty much gone across much of the Mid-South area. Looking at some of those clouds over the National Mall in D.C. this morning. Looking at the Potomac River and back toward the area inside the Beltway. Very quiet conditions. No winter weather being seen in this location so definitely good news there. More cameras available at the hashtag findyourpark on Twitter or on the NPS gov website. Closer to home here in the Mid-South area, Germantown, looking back toward the area of downtown Memphis and also over toward the area of East Memphis on the horizon there and back toward around the area of Germantown Parkway and Poplar Pike. We are seeing again light traffic and clear skies. No fog to report in the Mid-South this morning. Gorgeous sunrise from the Weather Underground system from Tim B's webcam. Thank you very much for sharing that around the area of Olive Branch this morning. What to expect over the next few hours for those of you who can't stick around for the entire forecast. This is what we're going to be seeing. Temperatures are going to be brisk and also again seeing the possibility of some very breezy winds in the area. Winds in the red bar here showing again plus 10 miles per hour mixed in with some of these temperatures it is going to be very chilly out there those wind chills are going to be very much on the downward side for early on now through the rest of the afternoon temperatures will be a little bit more warmer so to speak not by much only in the mid to upper 40s as we approach early afternoon plenty of sunshine throughout the entire day today so definitely good news on that and nothing to show you in the way of rainfall that is gone from the mid-south after that cold front swept through the area yesterday sunshine for today, 6.34 was the sunrise time. We'll gain some time into tomorrow. 11 hours and about roughly 19 minutes of sunshine for today. And we're seeing again a lot more sunshine as we go into around spring. We've got just a little bit less than a month left to go before we change seasons again. We've had hardly any winter weather to talk about. And no rainfall as of yesterday. Dry in Memphis. The Almanac showing zero of rainfall. We're about two and a half inches plus behind for the month of February. Two and a third inches inches behind for the year so a good soaker would be a very nice thing we're just not going to be getting that anytime soon rest of the day today again temperatures well below normal high temperatures yesterday 70 degrees 58 is where we should be for this time of the year we're just not seeing anything in the way of very bone chilling cold temperatures across the mid-south we'll continue to see some very mild conditions into next week we'll take a look at the seven to ten day forecast coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for more on that temperatures again throughout the rest of the day today we'll be looking at numbers going back into around the mid to upper 30s to the lower 40s again much of what we're seeing today is going to be just a little bit below normal for this time of the year conditions out across much of the mid-south sorry about the camera wobbling on going on there have to get this reset for just a second as we move through the mid-south mid to upper 30s to lower 40s the lines that you see on screen going down this direction that again is what we see in the way of winds throughout the day today coming in from out of the northwest those are going to be decently breezy 10 to 20 miles per hour and with temperatures like this it's going to be again very much on the chilly side out there throughout the day today mid to upper 40s combine that with a wind of about 15 miles per hour feels like it's in the upper 30s so keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors high temperatures throughout the rest of the day today mid to upper 40s that's it and that's all there's just nothing else in the way of those very warm temperatures left over a lot of this cold air is coming straight down off of Hudson Bay in Canada. So some very chilly numbers on the way for much of the Mid-South area. Rest of the evening past about sunset, temperatures will drop off and the winds across much of the area will be very much on the light side for tonight. But here's what it does into tomorrow. Winds turn back around out of the southeast and start moving more warm air up our direction. It is going to be a chilly start to the day tomorrow, no question about that, as numbers low temperatures tomorrow will be back in the 30s. Highs in the mid to upper 40s for the rest of 
the day today with lots of sunshine. Lower 60s for Sunday with temperatures again back in the lower 30s early tomorrow morning. A little bit on the chilly side for Monday morning as you head back to work or school. The big thing is going to be the possibility of showers and thunderstorms and some of which could be on the strong to severe side uh, in parts of the area around the eastern United States. Doesn't look like a lot going on directly for the Mid-South, but that's something we're going to be keeping our eyes on. This time of the year, you need to be very careful and watch that. Rest of the week, 40s today, 70s by Tuesday, back to normal again as we get closer to around Thursday and Friday. And then as we round out next week, temperatures will be back again in the upper 60s to right around the lower 70s. So some very warm conditions here and there across portions of the area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, check the forecast with News Channel 3, available again at wreg.com slash weather, and looking at very warm conditions out across parts of the Mid-South here and there, but not throughout the entire week. So some fairly chilly weather coming up across portions of the area. Weather where the troops are, if you have any friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military, keeping you up to date with what's going on in various parts of the world where American troops may be stationed, and temperatures back in the 60s and lower 70s with plenty of sunshine right around sunset in a rock. Persian Gulf, sunset fading away, nighttime coming up, temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Kuwait, 73 degrees, which is what it felt like here in the Mid-South a few days ago. Plenty of sunshine and north winds about 16 miles per hour. Afghanistan, some snow a couple of weeks ago that was very much unheard of in those amounts for this time of the year. 40s around Faizabad, 43 at Kabul at the airport in cloudy skies, 60s around Kandahar and back toward Herat. Numbers again, not doing too bad in the western parts of the country. Back toward the Korean Peninsula. Temperatures in the 30s with mostly clear skies south of the DMZ. And looking back into the area of Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, very nice conditions. No problems being seen here and temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s. No rain so far today, but could be some showers and thunderstorms coming up a little bit later on. More of this information about weather where the troops are and where you can get detailed information about weather across the globe. Dial up the World Meteorological Organization, the WMO, through the United Nations. Totally free and open to the public, all this information. So get yourself updated with what's going on on across the world by the weather updates from the World Meteorological Organization. If you'd like to know more about what to do about severe weather, what to do to protect yourself, what to look for, what to listen for, again, information that is vital to survival. You may have moved here and never experienced severe weather before. If you have never done so, this is where you want to be. Severe weather skywarn training classes taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis. If you'd like to know more about what all this is about and how you can get involved. All you have to do is show up at one of these meetings. These are the next five meetings coming up. There's going to be about two dozen of them in the next couple of weeks across the Mid-South area, not just in these locations, but in other locations as well. So if you'd like to know more, head to these locations. If they're nearby, if you'd like to know more, go to wreg.com slash weather. All the information and the links to the page are there just below the forecast. So dial that up and get more information and find out how you can help your neighbors, your friends, your family, your place of worship, your business stay safe by getting trained in Skywarn. Lasts about an hour or so, maybe a little longer if there's a lot of questions. The meteorologists and personnel teach you about radar, they teach you about storm structure, they teach you about survival tactics when you're out and about great opportunity. This is all totally free, paid for by your tax dollars, so if you'd like to know more, just join us there and we'll have a great deal of information. From Brad Nygaard, photojournalist extraordinaire from around North Dakota, if I'm not mistaken, after I complained about getting hit by mosquitoes in February, he sent me a reminder of what winter looks like. Another great view of the rainbow that we saw earlier this week from Twitter user Ren2002. Thank you very much for that. And a great sunrise picture yesterday from Louis Haskett in and around Northeast Arkansas. Arkansas. Thank you very much for that. Tweet me at aonic underscore WREG3. And also don't forget to get our weather app. Get informed about weather in the Mid-South. Whatever platform you've got, go to your weather page, your app page, and search WREG weather if you'd like to know more about what weather is doing in the Mid-South. And check out my entire forecast available on air and online. I'll be on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and I'll be back on AM 730 bright and early Monday morning with Bob, Josh, and C. Austin uh, on the Memphis AM radio show and talk
Talk Back Live. Also, again, on my all my social media pages, check out all the information available there. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. I'll be glad to let you know more about what you can do to make this your weather broadcast. If there's something on here you'd like to see, let me know about it. We can't do this without you, so let me know what you'd like to see on here. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct on multiple social media websites altogether. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend with my forecast on News Channel 3 on air and online.